hey friends welcome welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a wonderful day i am here with a new unboxing of the newest day spring illustrating bible this one brings the books of acts through ephesians and i'm really excited to show you guys if you've been here a while and maybe you do own a few journaling bibles um we talk about that big chunky illustrating bible right and after that we were able to see how day spring was able to bring um just to give you an example um the illustrating bibles individually so it has a few books so in this one it has um psalms and proverbs there is a navy blue version that i believe it had the book of luke um in it but that one is um retired so you won't be able to find it on their website anymore um i try to check on amazon it's not even there um so it's it's been out of um the market for a minute um but this is my illustrating bible from psalms um has psalms to proverbs uh, my, i always like to customize my bibles on the inside so this is how it looks um it has like some studies got the forgiver um it has some tags um and then has like the intro page my little girls and then this is a few pages that i've created using this bible the great thing about it, it we have a really large margin um so we have a really nice space um to journal on this is one of my favorite i think journaling pages in this bible it makes me really happy <laughs> um we have a little bit of everything on this one it has some tags so i'm just showing you a little bit how you can use this bible before i show you the new version they brought in most likely i started using this bible when i was brand new into bible journey um it's not one of my og bibles but it it, it was kind of I have this one so basically this is um it's one of my favorites too oh and this one yay this is my favorite I have a lot of favorites <laughs> um but yes um this is what it is a uh, illustrating bible this has psalms to proverbs they came out um with another version right um, that it was the gospel so it brings the book from all the way from Matthew Mark Luke and John um, and then here it's some pages that I've created Emmanuel God with us um, we have this one here there's another one here I don't have that much pages um, made on this one. This bow goes here. Had a missing bow. We go right here. So this one doesn't have that much pages, but it has a few that I've journaled in. Um, so this is, um, again, this is an IV um version so this is the gospels and then they just released last week or earlier this week um the acts through ephesians and there's another version that is coming um by september there's a new color i'll have those pre um open for pre-order down on my links um where you can pre-order them i pre-order them through amazon it comes from day springs the reason why I do it through Amazon is because they don't charge me until the actual product is being shipped out. So um, if you want to pre-order it now so you can save um, that price, they will honor that price that you pre-order it on. Um, and then they ship it out. Um, they'll take the money once it's getting shipped out. Um, and they let you know if it's close or not. So I'll be leaving those um, if you are 
ready to get some maybe some new bibles for um december christmas coming around the corner so you can already have them pre-order for maybe gifts um it is a wonderful gift because it's it's just a beautiful bible so now we have this beautiful um blue color um the texture is different so this one was leathery um but it had some like dots this is more soft leather um armitation of leather um so it's more smooth um i love that gold accent again we're journaling through the books of acts through ephesian again you have the spiral bound bibles niv translation it lets a lay flats design um pages are 75 percent thicker um so it reduces the bleed through if you use um distress oxide watercolors um and I know some people are like, well, watercolors don't bleed through. It depends on the type of Bible that you have to journal on. Some of them are still really thin pages, especially if you journal on Spanish Bibles. Um, their pages for journaling are a lot thinner. So unless you don't have like an, the Spanish version of an illustrating Bible that is a big chunky one, um, it might have some bleed through. If you're using maybe distressed coloring and you're going on with a lot of mixed media, um, you absolutely will have a... Um, bleed through if you haven't um, prepped your page with gesso. So the the great thing about this illustrating Bible is that their their pages are a lot thicker, and I'm gonna show you in a minute. So they will resist more, meaning that it won't reduce. Uh, it will reduce the bleeding. As you can see, I use um, really really um, water soluble. These are the lens the Lindy's or Lind um gangs um shimmer sprays and they are water but they can get a little bit this was just my fault um i went over it but other than that it's really not that bleed through again i was using really really hard um stamp i had to go twice on it and it didn't bleed through as much as i was thinking um i think i don't have that much even bleed through um again on this one it was just i was underlining it and the type of pen it did bleed through but nothing that i cannot cover with a um, media um but in this case this is all um i think this dress or no this is i think this is i don't know what me what media i use but it didn't bleed through on it um this one is a lot of distress on the borders again nothing this is all, again, Distress Oxide with water. It is a little bit, but it's because of the stamping, and I went over with a really hard pen. So other than that, the bleed through on it, it's not crazy on this that I, usually I'm the problem. <laughs> I go too heavy on them, and then uh, I paint over it, and then I get the bleed through. But other than that, you won't have that. And again, you get a third and a quarter of a wide margin um, for journaling and creativity. So let me just, she is brand new guys, <laughs> out of the box now. Um, again, I might prepare this one today as I'm not doing a lot today. Um, but again, we got the new international version. It's by Dayspring. I love Dayspring. And this is how it looks. Ah! <laughs> Again, it's the same. You have a really good font on it. Um, I can use this font without my glasses. So, um, and usually I need my glasses all the time. So, um, it's really, really good. So, you have the wonderful margin to journal on. Again, the pages are thicker. They're not pure white. They're like a beige light color. Um, if that's even a color, but <laughs> um, here you have a whole flip through of the book of Acts. Um, and then from there we go to first Romans. So this is so fun. Um, then we go to Corinthians, second of Corinthians, Galatians and Galatians. And we finish up with Ephesians. Um, yep. So we finish up with a fusion. So this is great if you're in, so this is for everybody. So if you're more a creative journaler, go ahead and get it. If you're more of the study side journaler, right? You're not that pre-creative, but you love putting heavy notes. This is for you too. So maybe your church is doing like a series of maybe studying the book of John. Um, but in this case, 
let me change the book of the Bible or the book of Romans or the book of Ephesians or the Acts or first of Corinthians, second of Corinthians, right? You can use this one to make all your notes um, and just have all your study in one Bible. Or maybe you're just studying from Acts through Ephesians in your Bible, right? Um, in your church, right? This is a great way um, to keep all your notes there and ready. So... Again, this is a wonderful journaling Bible. Um, this is the Acts through Ephesians. I'm gonna link the other one that is the yellow. I forgot the books that are in the yellow one that is coming, that's releasing, I believe in September, but I'll leave it linked down below so you guys can pre-order it. Um, they have the gospel, so I'll be um, t um, linking that one um, down below, just in case if you don't have it and you wanna grab it. And then I'll link to the Psalms and Proverbs in case you don't wanna grab the whole collection, right? Um, I do love them. This will be now the third um, of the illustrating and I cannot wait to see what else they bring. Um, hopefully they keep doing this type of series so we can have all, all the divisions of the Bibles from illustrating Bibles from day spring. So my friend, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I'm fully caffeinated this morning, so <laughs> um, I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. Don't forget to follow. Don't forget to follow me on my main page and Instagram. And don't forget to follow me on TikTok. If you are part of the TikTok family, right, don't forget to follow me over there as well. I'll be leaving my TikTok down below as well as I am creating um some stuff over there too so i hope you enjoy your weekend my friend and be blessed